Okay, great. Um, I'm going to talk about a paper by Heather Sarsen um, about medical referrals. Um, so since we're talking about um, doctors, here is a, a famous riddle. You, some of you might have heard this before. If you heard it, please don't blurt out the answer. Um, this is mainly for those who uh, haven't, and maybe you remember when you heard it the first time. So here's the story. A father and a son, it's very sad, have a car accident, and they both get really badly hurt. And they're both taken to different hospitals by different ambulances. Now the boy is taken in for an operation. And the surgeon says, the surgeon is the doctor, I cannot do the surgery because this is my son. How can that be? So if you have a, you know, it's the surgeon is, a woman, is the mother, right? And, and then you do surveys, the majority of people don't know the answer to the riddle. So it doesn't occur to us that the surgeon could be a woman. And so, so most of us, right, even when, when I heard this too, it was like it took me a few seconds. Oh, what's now? It's the uncle now. <laughs> so so um, we have this mental image of the surgeon as a man, right? We grow up with this image. And so Heather started, is like, how does this affect how we judge now female surgeons? And so she has this very cool data set from Medicare. So these are all real decisions in real hospitals where she studies what happens when a doctor, not a surgeon, a regular doctor, has to refer a patient to a surgeon, okay? So what she finds, it's a little bit depressing. When a patient, when a doctor sends a patient to a surgeon and the patient has a good outcome, the doctors obviously then like that surgeon, they send more patients to that surgeon, but this increase is bigger if the surgeon is a man. When the patient has a bad outcome, then obviously the doctor reduces how much he sends uh, patients or she sends patients to that uh, surgeon, but that reduction is bigger if the surgeon is a woman. So in other words, male surgeons are awarded more for good outcomes than female surgeons. And female surgeons are punished more for bad outcomes than male surgeons. This, by the way, um, it also happens when the referring doctor is a woman, but it's, the effect is smaller, but it's still there. So this, like we just did exercise, these mental images that we have, the women, we have those too. So it gets worse because now what happens when one woman makes a mistake on other women? After a bad experience with one female surgeon, doctors become less likely to give referrals to other female surgeons in the same specialty. So one woman has a, you know, one surgeon does an operation that didn't work well, I start trusting less all the women in that speciality. So, and after a bad experience with a male surgeon, there is no impact on referrals to other male surgeons. So in, in a way, it's like female surgeons are kind of on probation. Right? They have the same position, but people go like, can she really do it? Can she do it? Can she really do it? You know, in the back of our minds. And so we trust them for referrals. The doctors trust them for referrals. But when they make a mistake, they get punished more because be maybe women are really not cut out for this. And when they perform well, they're still a little bit under doubt. And so we, we, we get, they get rewarded less. And when one woman makes a mistake, then we tend to extrapolate to other women but not so for men, because we have this, still this question mark whether women can be good surgeons. And so this is one of the mechanisms that may explain gaps in professional advancements also in other professions where women are underrepresented. 